This is Wise Hour 2 coming at you from see where I live. Right now, we all, this is, it's Sunday, May 3rd. We are in the month of Mary, Mary May. Depends your mother, Mary May. But on May 1st, I was sent off to Facebook, to, to my Facebook friends and people. Uh, prayers for the rosary. It, um, uh, uh, I was sent off uh, things about Mary, songs about the Virgin Mother Mary, because it was Mary month. And um, I remember, and as the, day, as the day progressed, I was busy doing other housework. I was cleaning, I was, uh, cleaning the refrigerator, sweeping the floors. I was doing a lot of things. And time went by. And it got late in the, after, in the, in the evening. And I said, oh, I forgot to do my rosary. And, for the, and I forgot to pray for the souls of purgatory. I always pray for the souls of purgatory. But then I said to myself, well, I, I'm sure I can wait. I mean, you know, the souls of purgatory and all that. Uh, so I was thinking real loud. And I said to myself real loud in my room, you always talk to yourself real loud in your room? Oh, man. I hope, I hope the souls of purgatory uh, uh, don't, take, don't take this the wrong way. Now, whether you believe in purgatory or not, it's not, it's not the question. The question is, that's what I was saying to myself. Regardless, uh, but I know it's a spirit world because because um, I went to sleep Friday night. You know, like everybody does nighttime. The time came for sleep, and I had a dream. And when I woke from my dream, I was very surprised. I looked at my clock to see what time I woke up. It was three a.m. But let me tell you about my dream, so you know. I had a dream that I, I was in a. I, I, I found myself in a big, large building full of people, crowded with people, more and more, like a graduation or a class, coming out of class, you know, uh, people coming out of classroom. It was very crowded. It was young people and not old people. And I said to myself, I don't know what kind of building I'm in. I, I try to look for lockers to, to see if I'm in a school or not. I try to look for uh, signs and stuff like that. But I felt I was in some kind of, of a school building. I felt that in my heart, but at the same time, I, I couldn't prove it. I would look at the walls, no lockers, nothing. No, no classroom numbers. So um, I felt that there were young students there. And I was talking, and I, and I began talking to them. And th like they knew me, I knew them. That we knew each other. And they were friendly. It was a beautiful, it's like a, a, a situation comedy where you go to school with people that, and you joke around nicely and cleanly and talk to each other. I felt, I felt as though I was part of the group. I was. I felt like I was part of them. That I belong there, but I don't know if I was in the school or not. I thought I was. So I went. Um, so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I went into this door, and the building got even bigger and more spacious, and it had more crowds of people. And I looked past another door, and I saw that I was in a bus station. It was a bus station. Was, so I don't know if I was in the school that went to a bus station, or that I was in the bus station talking to people or not. I don't know. But it was a, a big, large bus station. You know, where you buy tickets and everything, but if you walk out the door, you see buses and people waiting for the buses. Okay, so, I was in, so the, 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 the big building, which I thought was a school, now became a large bus station where you buy tickets and everything. Then I went out past the door, and I saw buses, with, you know, with, with the name of the buses, going this way and going that way, to every, every place. And I saw people get together in different, uh, across people going to, uh, staying on different um, uh, um, bus stands. And the buses were all coming in. And one bus was already loading the people. And, and, and I saw a bus driver coming toward me from a distance, putting his, his cap on, they got to meet a schedule and putting his uh, little jacket on, you know, one arm on, uh, at one arm and then the next arm. And then I heard, I, I looked in the side of my eyes and I saw on, on a standing on the, um, or, 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 or one of the um, stand beside me, with the woman and some of the guys I was speaking to when I thought I was in the school building. In, in my earlier dream, I was in the school building, building. And I heard one girl say, oh good, finally we're going to heaven. I said, What? I said to myself, I moved out of my dream. What? And then I looked at the bus driver when he, when he was passing by me. It, it was a Caucasian man, uh, a, a little higher than my height. And he, and he, and he, was, and he had his, put his jacket on and his hat on to meet the schedule. I said, wait, heaven? I looked at him and said that. And he, 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 and he put his eyes like this, opened his eyes. Yes, heaven. And like that. And then I said, wait a minute. Are these people are these people dead? I said to myself, and uh, and he says, 
They used to, if they, I, I, he put up his finger, index finger. It was kind of crooked, but a beautiful long finger. Uh, long, and he went, so, one student, just one student, that's all. One student, that's what he said to me. And then I woke up from my, and then he walked towards the buses, and I woke up from my dream. I thought he met, uh, at first I thought, having a dream, that it meant that somebody crashed, uh, somebody probably shot the students, you know, violently, violently, on the bus, or somebody had a, there was a shooting or a violent death or something, like Columbine, something like that. But it wasn't that. It was, they were peaceful, they were talking nicely, there was no violence, there was nothing. It, it, it was nothing to do with shooting, nothing, to, that's what I thought it was, a crazy guy. But I don't know who the student was. Now, anybody who, who knows that can help me with this dream, let me know, okay? Now, I think it was purgatory, that, that, that the guy didn't pray for them. That guy was telling me that when we teach people to pray, because you have to teach people to pray for the source of purgatory, they become the students, uh, your students, and they and, and they help people uh, people cross over to purgatory. You know, you teach others to pray for to those in purgatory, and and they and, and, and that's some more people go to they go to heaven. So that's why I think that my dream meant. I wonder what it meant. So if you can help me with my dream, I'll be very helpful if you can invite it in your comment. But that was my dream. This is this is a wise out too coming out to you from the see where I live. Over and out. Bye bye. Have a nice day.